So what is going on everybody? Welcome back. And in this video, let's just go ahead and explore the pages directory a little bit. Now we are not really going to explore all the routing part just yet, but pages provide a very powerful yet simple to maintain routing mechanism in Next.js. So what happens with pages is that whatever file Next.js finds ends with .ts, .tsx, .js, .jsx inside the Next.js folder, inside this pages folder, it would create a path of that. Or to, or to speak in the, in the reverse way, whenever you visit something which is like your website.com slash my page, Next.js is going to find my page.tsx, basically resolve that my page module inside the pages folder. And it's going to return that component, that React component to the browser. Enough of talking, let's actually see what I'm saying. There's just one exception to that, and that is the index.tsx. That is, index.tsx is actually available on your root domain and not on slash index, right? So if you go to slash index, you're gonna get 404. But if you're on your root domain, that is where index.tsx is actually displayed. So what we want to do really is let me just go ahead and trim this down real quick because we have a lot of code right here and I'm just going to actually just get rid of this as well. I'm just going to say we have h1 hello world right here and maybe I can just even get rid of that. So we have a very very small and very simple react component with us here and if we go on the page you're going to see that is exactly what we get. But hold on if we go ahead and take a look at the view page source, you can actually see hello world written in the HTML itself. Now, this is not something that happens when you're using React, right? Just go ahead and try out an application with create React app, create a component which says hello world and display it and go to the page source and you're never going to find this H1 hello world tag there. So what really happened here is that this page, this component was actually rendered on the server by Next.js and it was, you know, crunched into the HTML and returned to the client. This way, this has multiple benefits in terms of SEO and performance, but the most notable benefit you can see is the client now when the, when the page is loaded is never waiting for any sort of JavaScript to execute for displaying the content which increases performance a lot for the client side, right? So, yep, that's, that's basically how the pages thing work. So if I go ahead and create a nice page dot TSX for myself, and if I just go ahead and copy paste this whole thing and I say, let's see, this is a super nice page. Hit save. And if I go ahead on nice, what was that? Nice page. Yeah nice page you can see i get a this is a super nice page right out the box out of the box i had to do no routing i had to you know just write nowhere i have to write like if i go to slash nice page this should execute it is automatically handled by next.js and this is some sort of behavior you cannot really change at the moment so you know you just have to return a component here you cannot just uh, just return for example, you cannot just return two here because if you do that, you're going to see you get an error that the export is not a React component. So the default export from your any file inside this pages folder, just ignore the API folder for now. Any file inside this pages folder, which is a JavaScript file, should export a React component, right? As a default export. And once you do that, it's just going to work just like that, right? You can create as many pages as you want. Nice page two dot TSX. This is also a super nice page, right? And if I go to that, we get this is also a super nice page, all rendered on the server side. This is also, you can also see this, it is available in the source code. And as we create more and more complicated apps, you're gonna realize the importance and benefits of this. Plus the fact that you do not have to customize anything out of the box is just mind-blowing i mean this the setup works right out of the out of the box it is typescript react 
JSX, Webpack, Babel, everything hidden away from you, it, nothing is available, right? So nothing is actually visible, but you can actually get fine grained control of everything if you want by a file called next.config.js, which we're going to discuss later on. But you know, this is this is something I love about Next.js. It's simplicity to start and it can grow as complex as you want when you want it, right? Just like it, just like every framework should be. So this is all about pages introduction to pages we're going to learn a lot about pages and routing and everything in the routing section but that's all for this video i'm going to see you pretty soon in the next one